from All Coming Bus Ladies. So what's that? Well, I finally made my Instagram for the reasons of, I'm not entirely sure, but I also have my own personal Instagram and I went quite well. And I think it'll be a good way to bring crypto onto another platform and sort of spread the awareness again. Obviously, follow me if you're not yet. All Coming Sarah, quite easy, Crypto Sarah the name. And we're gonna talk about one of the cryptos that's been listed on the latest Chinese blockchain ranking for August. Basically where they rate public blockchain networks like Bitcoin, Ethereum, based on their applications and technology. And we're gonna talk about number three, Komodo, and what it is, why it deserves to be number three, or whether it actually deserves. Loads of people actually, when I posted on Twitter, disagreed with EOS being a number one, but I guess it's just a matter of a personal opinion over here, and your favorites. So guys, let me know what you think of those Chinese rankings, and let's get on with the topic. So looking at the Komodo website, Komodo is basically a platform that allows anyone to create their own blockchain. But this is the same thing that all blockchain platforms do, Ethereum, Neo, Cardano and the rest are designed to allow technological entrepreneurs to develop their own blockchain for whatever purpose they want. However, the blockchain platform market leans heavily towards Ethereum, which is why so many hyped Ethereum killers never succeed. What makes Komodo actually unique is that for a relatively small project that is ranking highly on the Chinese tech ladder. And this could drive Chinese DApps developers towards it, especially those whose functionality is geared towards the public sector. And this is without a doubt a major plus to the long-term value of Komodo. However, the biggest asset to Komodo is the fact that it has an edge in atomic swaps technology. So Komodo's Barter Dex implements atomic swaps technology, which means people can exchange their cryptos cost-free and without the need for escrow services. And through Barter Dex, Komodo is bringing the dream of true peer-to-peer -peer decentralization to fruition. And with all the problems that centralized exchanges have shown recently, especially with regards to crypto hacks, the Barter Dex platform that is powered by atomic swaps is a step ahead of the rest. And since the exchange runs on Komodo, it follows that the exchange adoption will play a huge role in the growth of not just the crypto ecosystem, but also on KMD, which is the ticker for Komodo as an investment as well. Another interesting aspect to Komodo is that it's also a privacy coin and Komodo is a fork of Zcash and carries all the privacy of Zcash with it. Since anonymity is an interesting aspect to crypto, this aspect gives Komodo a huge value in the markets. And clearly the Chinese ranking of Komodo is not by mistake. It has the tech to back it up a combination of a decentralized exchange that implement atomic swaps, privacy and a platform that allows for the development of personalized blockchain gives it a huge interesting value. And from an investor perspective, these features make Komodo a good long-term hold while has the potential to gain significantly in the long run. Besides, Komodo is another critical aspect supporting it and that's the coin supply. And while most of Komodo's competitors in the platform blockchain market have a supply that runs in the billions, Komodo only has just over 100 million coins circulating, which means that in a bull run, Komodo could gain faster than most all coins that are bogged down by a large coin supply. It's definitely a good all coin to watch for those investing for the long haul. And before we finish, let's go and check out Komodo. So Komodo is currently on CoinGecko. I'm using CoinGecko right now, not CoinMarketCap. Go check it out, guys. It's quite, I quite like this website uh, for various reasons. And Komodo is currently 72 on the Gecko rank, whereas on CoinMarketCap, it's 58. So obviously the differences are a different part of the topic, I think, and it'd be good to see what the differences are caused by, which I'm gonna make a separate video about, basically. So Komodo is currently trading at $1.07, and as I said, the available supply is 109 million at the time of the video. It's down 15% within a year, so it's, it's not as bad as it could have been. It is quite bad. It's down from its all-time high on the 23rd of December from $11.50. So it's it's the math is quite easy over here when it comes to the gains if you invest right now. It's down 90% from its all-time high. It is down quite significantly. But then if you guys actually believe in the project and believe in the researches that like Chinese blockchain specialists do, 
then you can only see this as a big potential. So guys, let me know what you actually think of Komodo, whether you're actually invested in it or not, and what you think of those rankings like I asked you at the start of the video. So if you enjoyed that video, hit the like button, honestly it means the world to us. So remember to follow me, well, on Instagram, uh, all Queen Sarah, same on Twitter. So I'm basically gonna keep the same handle for every social media, which I think makes perfectly a lot of sense and makes it easy for everyone. So if you guys wanna hit me up on Telegram, it's all Queen Sarah, same on Instagram, uh, Twitter, and that's it for now. So follow me on Twitter, obviously. I post a lot, a lot of stuff over here, mainly share the videos, any updates of the, of the market that we have. I ask a lot of questions like, what makes crypto great? I also ask about the whole go see it thing uh, because I wasn't entirely really sure what it is. People keep giving it to me and uh, basically need to sign it up. And apparently I'll receive some Tron. So, well, um, Tron, Tron, but at least it's a free stuff. So I can't really complain, especially that I've been participating in the Ethos airdrop. And a lot of people have been complaining about the amount of crypto has been airdropping, but I think people need to look at it as a bigger perspective and the amount of people that are actually signed up and what they're actually trying to achieve. Ethos itself is a great project that I think it absolutely is. So let me know if you've actually been participating in Ethos airdrop and have signed up before so you can actually enjoy it. So follow me and all Compass Ladies, obviously, as well on Twitter. Subscribe to Compass Ladies and let me know what you want me to review next. I'll catch you later. Have a good one. Bye-bye.